Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to add a music visualizer to Android's navigation bar. And this feature has been a part of AOKP and Cyanogen Mod, which are two awesome custom ROMs. But not everybody runs a custom ROM, and even if you do, yours might not have this really cool tweak. So developer Sergio Sanchez took the open source bits of his code, then turned it into an exposed module so we can enjoy it on pretty much any device. The requirements here are 1. You'll need the exposed framework installed, 2. Your phone needs to have on-screen navigation keys, and 3. You'll need to be running stock Android 5.0 or higher, or any AOSP custom ROM with Lollipop or Marshmallow as its base. If that's you, start by heading to the download section of your exposed installer app, then searching Navbar Music Visualizer. From here, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the Versions tab, and hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. From here, you'll need to reboot your phone to wrap things up, so let me take care of that real quick and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so when you get back up, go ahead and open the Navbar Music Visualizer app that you'll now find in your app drawer. From here, the interface is a little strange, but it doesn't take much getting used to. Basically, you just swipe left or right to view the various options, but for the most part, everything should already be set up pretty well by default. Really, the only thing I'd suggest changing in here is on the Dynamic Color tab. For this one, I think setting the Current Mode option to dynamic album art is the best way to go because that makes the visualizer match the color of the album you're listening to. But when you're done making any changes here, be sure to tap the check mark at the bottom of the screen and if you're already listening to any music, you'll have to play a different track before any of your changes take effect. With everything set up though, all that's left to do is to show you this thing in action. I have the sound muted because I don't want to get any copyright claims, but these little bars are definitely moving in sync with the beat. They'll stay back there behind your software keys no matter what screen you're on, and depending on how you set it up, they'll even change colors when you change the track. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetX.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.